Hello, history scholars. Mrs. Olson here. Today's lesson is going to be about Native American homes. So you are going to be using a website where you are really researching and learning about different structures that made up Native American homes. So I have that website. So when you are here, uh, this lesson is titled Native American Homes, and the learning target is examine Native American houses in different geographic locations, okay? So this is where the video lesson is, the one that you are watching, and then when you click on this link, it brings you to this website here, Native American Houses. So let's look at this website a little bit together. Okay. Now don't worry about this. This is just going to be some ad and I can't get rid of it. I apologize. So this reads that there are many different types of American Indian houses in North America and each tribe needed a kind of housing that would fit their lifestyle and their climate. So depending on where you were located in the United States, you're going to be living in a house, a structure that is um, that is suitable for that type of climate. Okay, so this is telling you that North America is so big that depending on where you live, like in Arizona, there are deserts, and in Alaska, there is tundra, that you have to have different types of homes to be able to um, live, live comfortably there. Okay, so, Underneath this part, here are descriptions and pictures of some of the Native American house styles that people developed over the years to fit these needs, okay? And actually, I'm gonna back up just one moment. This part says that some tribes were agricultural. They lived in settled villages and farmed the land for corn and vegetables. So people who were considered agricultural they settle in one location and they don't really move from that location because they don't have to. Other tribes were more nomadic, moving frequently. So nomads meaning that they, they're constantly on the move with the changing seasons. They move frequently from place to place as they hunted and gathered food and resources. So they needed houses that were portable or easy to build. So your job is going to be going through these facts and looking at the different structures that make up or are examples of, say, wigwam homes, okay? Reading the information here. The same thing with longhouses. There are different ways in which you can construct a longhouse and what you might be able to find in them and what they were made out of. The same thing with teepees, grass houses, wattle and daub houses, chickies, adobe houses, earthen houses, plank houses, igloos, brush shelters, and that's the end of the, the web page, which gives you the information on the different structures. So now I am going to pull up your assignment. And where did that one go? Uh, hold on one moment. Okay, so let's go to the next page. and pull it. oh i already have it pulled up that's why <laughs> okay so move me out of the way all right so once again your learning target target is that you'll be examining native american houses in different geographic locations and the first thing that i would like you to do is to describe the type of structure that you live in. Do you live in a one-story house, a two-story house, an apartment, a condo? Maybe you even live on a boat. I want you to describe where it is that you live, okay? And then these directions say that you're going to use that website that we were just on together, 
Make sure that you read all of the information about each style of house. And when it comes to the assignment part, you are going to be comparing and contrasting. So I used um, two, two words that are similar. So when you compare, you are finding similar characteristics. So you go through the website, you're reading the information, and you're pulling out similar characteristics amongst all the different structures on that page. And then for this column, when you contrast, you are finding different characteristics between each of the styles of houses, okay? So, I would like a whole bunch of those characteristics inside of these boxes here. And then when you get done, you are going to use this prompt, which says, something interesting that I learned from this lesson is, and, so it says when you are finished recording the details, you are going to write one to two sentences that explain something interesting that you learned from the lesson. And it says use specific evidence from the website to support your views. So what that means is that you are pulling out some of these characteristics that you found interesting and you are using them in your answer in this box here. All right, guys, I hope you have fun learning about the different types of structures, homes that American Indians lived in. And if you have any questions, make sure that you ask. Bye.